Hi everybody, I'm Shelby Hartman, Double Blind's co-founder and editor-in-chief, and I'm here to talk to you about where magic mushrooms grow. Foraging is an ancient and magical practice. The number one thing to know when foraging for mushrooms is that a lot of mushrooms look very similar to one another in the wild, including magic mushrooms, which can look very similar to non-psilocybin-containing mushrooms. And some of them look like LBMs or little brown mushrooms, which can be toxic and even fatal. So that's just the disclaimer we'll start out with here is that when you are foraging for mushrooms, you need to be very careful. And you need to not only know what the mushrooms you're looking for look like, but you also need to know if there are any other mushrooms growing in that region that look like them too. During the 60s and 70s, there was a vibrant counterculture of mushroom foraging in North America and Europe. University students and just people who were fascinated by mycology were going out into the grasslands and pastures and foraging for mushrooms and trying to identify them. Today, if you're out foraging for mushrooms and you come across something that you think is a psilocybin-containing mushroom but you're not sure, there are Facebook groups you can join or you can also go on shroomery.org and post a picture and someone in the community will likely help you identify what that mushroom is. Some good places to start foraging include cattle pastures on hot, humid summer days, tropical cloud forests, fields and grasslands on cool, moist fall mornings, or among woody debris on the edges of forests. Where and when magic mushrooms grow largely depends on the climate and the habitat of where you live. The eastern United States consists of two climactic regions, humid continental and humid subtropical. Psilocybe cubensis basically grow from Florida along the Gulf Coast on cow pies year round. In contrast, the western half of the continent consists of arid and semi-arid climates that are defined as Mediterranean and oceanic. It's known for fall fruiting, wood loving species like Psilocybe azarensis and Psilocybe cyanescens, which tend to grow at night when it's cold and in dewy mornings. Fungi grow in so many different habitats from gardens to woodlands to cow pastures to grasslands. It really depends on the psilocybin species that you're looking for, and it also depends on where you live. Psilocybe cubensis, which is the most popular species of magic mushrooms and the ones that you'll probably buy if you're buying magic mushrooms on the black market, are dung-loving species. Psilocybin-containing mushrooms have been found on every single continent except for Antarctica. They literally grow all around the world. The general takeaway here is that there are many different kinds of psilocybin mushrooms that grow all around the world. So if you're interested in foraging, you should figure out what grows in your area so that you're sure to be looking for a species that actually grows where you live and you're looking at the right time of day and you're looking at the right time of year. We have a lot more information about this on our website, doubleblindbag.com. Last but not least, just a note on foraging etiquette. Firstly, this probably goes without saying, but if you are foraging mushrooms on someone's land, or you think you might be on someone's land, then it's probably best to knock on their door and introduce yourself first, because there is nothing worse than running from an angry property owner. And also, it's just the nice thing to do. Secondly, we just want to say be conscientious of the environment as you're foraging. Try and gently pull up the entire mushroom rather than leaving a little bit of the stem there. And don't pick mushrooms that haven't fully formed yet, i.e. the pins. Because you want to make sure that the mushrooms are there for whoever comes behind you and for many years to come. 